What's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Running Gun with AJ and Co. So in today's episode we're going to be diving into a little bit of our lighting, our audio, and also our main setup. And as we explain our gear to you guys, I just want you aspiring creators out there to understand that Annie and I have been building our kit for quite some years now. And I don't want you to think that just because you don't have this specific camera that you can't go out and create. Andy sometimes shoots solely with his iPhone and can still create amazing content with it. So be resourceful, use whatever you have, and it's not always about the camera, but whatever you decide to create. First up is camera bodies. I currently shoot with the Sony a7 III, which is Sony's latest full-frame camera. I prefer shooting and traveling with their mirrorless lineup because of the form factor. Jalen currently shoots with the 1DX Mark II, shooting at 20 megapixels for stills and 4K 60 frames for video is exactly what we need to shoot our campaigns. Aside from the usual DSLRs, you also have your point and shoot cameras. They're great for vlogging and capturing those moments while being a little more discreet. And not only are these cameras compact, but some are even capable of shooting 4K. As mentioned in the beginning, don't be discouraged if you don't have a full DSLR camera. Create moments with anything that you have. Next up are lenses. Without going into too much detail, we both love our 16-35s. Aside from that lens, we primarily shoot with prime lenses. If you're interested in crisp detail, fast apertures, and bokeh, primes are the way to go. 20, 50, 85, 100, and 135 is our go-to setup. The 100mm is one of my favorite primes. It'll help you with getting shots like this. And of course, one of the most important elements are your memory cards. In our case, we find 128GB is the perfect amount for shooting both photo and video. An important tip to remember is to always dump your footage, of course, and to format your card between each shoot. This is probably my favorite section of this video, stabilizers. If you're into smooth motion and action footage, you need to grab one of these. I've been using stabilizers since the Glidecam 2000. If you stabilize almost any camera, you'll get some sick footage. Cameras such as the iPhone, RX0, and even a full-size DSLR. Tripods are also a must. Trust me, you'll need one of these. Another important element is audio. It helps to bring everything together and makes the audience feel like they're a part of the film. When working in our home studio, we usually opt for the Rode shotgun mic to give us crisp audio. And when traveling, we attach our mic to the camera's hot shoe and capture sounds of location, whether it's the sound of the waves, birds chirping, or even a car driving by. Alright you guys, so this pretty much wraps up episode number two. We hope that this is helpful information to you guys. And we hope that the biggest takeaway from this is that gear is really important, but at the same time, don't let that stifle your creativity. Go out and shoot, go out and explore with what you have, and be resourceful. It's not about the stove, it's about the chef. You know what I'm saying? You didn't ask Picasso what kind of paintbrush he was using. Yeah. Gang! <laughs>